This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. Monthly Japanese Snack Subscription Boxes. In Neville's 1968 lecture Freedom, he tells the parable where God entered a boat and fell asleep. And that boat is symbolic of humanity. And the ark is where God, the Father, creates as he sleeps. And just like anything that you encounter, the gossip you hear, the news you read, Neville teaches, if you feel disturbed, you are the cause of that conflict. Because all imagination, we are all dreaming, causing the misfortunes and unhappiness of those lives that are touched with our feelings. Neville says, When you awaken and recall your dream, do you always know the people there? Do you know the children that were yours in the dream? The people who frightened you? You never saw them before, so how could they be other than that which you caused? You do not recognize them, yet you, the dreamer, caused them to do what they did. When you dream at night, and you experience a world that feels as real as reality, and yet it all came from your consciousness, and Neville and similar mystics are teaching you, so too is this life. What if right now, you are also dreaming, in this wake dream, what you call reality? If the actions of a seeming other cause a motor response in you, even though you do not know him, your awareness is the cause of the storm. But when you awake, memory will return, and there will be a wonderful calm. Neville goes on to say, I know it is easier to give advice and show the other person where he is wrong than it is to acknowledge that he is only reflecting the wrong in you. It is difficult to accept the concept that the world is bearing witness to your thoughts, but it is true. If you do not like something or someone, do not look at it or them. Look within to the one who is causing the image. Maybe it might be easier to see what Neville's saying when you think of a night dream, and maybe someone does something you don't like in your night dream. But when you wake, you can't really be upset, because it was just a dream, it came from within you. So as you look at all the things that go on in your life, maybe someone that upsets you, what if you took that same notion and realized, this is a dream of life, it is something coming from within me, and consciously dream new dreams of life. By using your imagination to harness your feeling, to feel what you want, to see what you want, developing your imaginative muscle, that inner eye, and see, as you develop this skill and make it a habit, see for yourself how much the world echoes back to you, and continue on to make a complete revolution in your life, a complete transformation. In closing, Neville says, Let the world remain in the storm if they want to. But if you accept my words, you will be set free from any secondary cause. And you, who have been causing your storm, will find peace and be truly set free. All our lives we think we have grown up and come to believe completely in secondary causes. That this happens because of that. That I diet and exercise so I lose weight. That I overeat and I don't exercise and I gain weight. But what if the cause was what you believed? Most of us might not even be aware of what we truly believe. Could you imagine the power to see through all the secondary causes? that the only cause, the only creative force, is your imagination. What are you imagining now? What will you continue to imagine? That is the cause of your reality. Now become aware of it, and intentional, and test it out yourself. It is the only way that mystics like Neville teach that you will truly find your peace and joy. A peace and joy that cannot be taken away when you realize you're the first and only cause. Now practice your imagination. Feel what you want to feel. Whatever it is you want, feel that it is already done. And now pause this and go into the silence for however long feels best to you. Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. are monthly Japanese snack subscription boxes. With Tokyo Treat, you receive 20 of the most latest, exclusive, limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time, while Sakurako is filled with traditional and authentic artisan Japanese snack items, including Japanese teas 
and one special Japanese tableware with your box every month. Sakurako helps in partnering with local Japanese snack makers to continue to share Japanese culture and traditions that have been passed down for over a hundred years. So for either Japanese subscription snack box Tokyo Treat or Sakurako, they both come with a different theme every month to keep things exciting and fresh. And this would also make a great gift for anyone you know that loves Japan, especially the food, the snacks, the candies. This month's Tokyo theme is Sugoi Summer. The word Sugoi can loosely translate over to the English word awesome. August in Japan means summer holiday. This month's box is full of tasty and limited edition summer themed treats, like Chupa Chups strawberry cream soda and watermelon seed Ramune candy. And this month's Sakurako theme is Okinawa Treat. Okinawa is like Japan's version of Hawaii. Enjoy Okinawa's finest summer treats from Sakurako this month. Also, Sakurako is partnering with Ogimi Villages in Okinawa. They have the highest life expectancy in the world, and we've got snacks and ingredients grown right there. Shikuwasa manju and Okinawa cinnamon cookies. Sakurako snacks are perfect for tea pairing. And Sakurako box always includes some kind of wonderful Japanese tea. Oh, an Okinawan cookie. Oh, so this is all Okinawa. That's somewhere I'd like to go. It's like Japan's Hawaii. Use code NEVILUTION for $5 off your first Sokoroko or Tokyo Treat box with my affiliate link, which I will leave as a pinned comment, as well as in the description section beneath this video. Thank you. This, this might be my most favorite, although that cracker was pretty good. I have to say this was my most favorite. It's like a milk flavored shortbread. I've had shortbread before and it was okay, but this is just heavenly. This is the kitchen utensil I got in the box this month, the hashi. Yeah. Taking chocolate sandwiches to one of the Yogurt liquor? A yogurt liquor. What do you think of that? Have you ever had it? <laughs> I've never tried this, but it's very hot. I want to try one. Yeah, I never had that. Electrolyte. I 
I can't believe you make these kind of dessert sandwiches. It looks and smells amazing. It's Belgian chocolate. Pretty good. Dessert sandwich. Would you like a bite, baby? It's refined and subtle, creamy and luscious. Uh oh. Green. Oh, I mean, <laughs> it, looks, it looks green, but blue. Oh. Hey! Give it back. Toshi, that's so mean. Yeah. Man. <laughs> mm, look at the sky. 